Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation TV. In today's video, we are going to look at the top five responsibilities of a security guard. Remember, you may want to have a career profession as a security guard. Remember, a security guard main role is protecting people and property away from up. But it may be your dream career being a professional security guard. Yes, as a professional security guard. We get to know the job description, we get to know the our responsibility, but what are those most top five responsibilities that you need to know? By the end of this video, I think you must have picked out something. Anyone, for those of you that want to take security as a career. Let's go straight into the video. One of the top five responsibilities of, of a security guard is to be visible, deterrent to crime. Remember, wherever you have to go, to any building, to any place where you find a security guard visible, that means people will get scared to commit crime. Because they know someone over there is watching over them. So as a security guard, one of your responsibility is to be visible. You are supposed to be visible such that you deter committing of crime in any case or even damaging, damaging what you call the client's property in one way or the other. That is why they normally advise security guards to always stand out in open places such that people can see you, people can be able to recognize you, people can be able to see you in an open place. That only, you being visible in an open place, it is one one fighting tool that is going to deter uh, committing crime for anyone who would wish to do anything wrong in that place. Let's say damaging property. In two, identifying, number two is identifying suspicious behavior. Much as you may be to these posted locations, other people may be doing their own work or doing their work. But as a security guard, you should have that instinct that can identify suspicious behavior. Let's say for example, you are given to guard in an hospitality place. This may be a hotel. It is a confrage of very many people coming together. Very many workers, the housekeepers, the technicians, the construction people. As a security guard, your responsibility is to make sure that you identify those suspicious people that you think will not be, be fit to, uh, to live in the community and forward that information to your supervisors or to the building management or the client in that place. Number three, contacting and communicating with what we call the authority. That is another responsibility, a very good responsibility. As a security guard, you should be able to uh, communicate. You should be able to contact the relevant authorities is in case need arises. You should be able to pass on the information to the authorities. You should be able to communicate to those people that you think are not doing wrong, doing right, the wrongdoers. Let's say, for example, you found someone is damaging company's property or company client's property. Are you going to leave that person to damage the property? No. You'll have to stop that person, not in a very rude way, but in a polite and advisory way. And the consequences, you explain thoroughly the consequences to that person, what may happen in case that damage is, in case damage is made to that uh, uh, property recklessly. So that is also another responsibility as a security guard that you are supposed to have. Then also we look at another one is monitoring 
access to property as a security guard. That is another top responsibility that you're supposed to have. You monitor access to property. How do you monitor access to property? By either giving author, uh, access to authorized people according to the instruction from your client. Checking property. Checking whoever is going in. Recording whoever is going in. Recording deliveries that are going inside the building in case that is part of your job description. Try to check. Follow the client's uh, instructions. Follow the company's instructions. Follow the security instructions as well. You give access. You should monitor that access. If it is the parking level, who is going into the apartment if that is your role? Who are you giving access into that building? Have you recorded that person? Have you recorded the entity? If the deliveries are going into that client's premises, have you tried to record that? If it is part of your job description, if there is construction on, repairs, have you tried to take the details of those people that are going in? That is part of your responsibility. It's another responsibility of a security guard. Then still also, something that we cannot underestimate or something that we do not have to forget is what we call taking action in an emergency. That is also a responsibility of a security guard. You are supposed to take what you call action in case of emergency. Let's say, for example, there is an emergency. Let's say, for example, there is a minor accident somewhere. What are you going to do as a security guard? Are you going just to look on? This is a situation that the accident is happening in the same place where you are located or where you are. Are you going to look on? To say, I don't care. You need to give a helping hand. You need to do a response. You need to respond. You're the first respondent. You need to respond immediately. Because that is part of your, that is part of your role. That is part of your responsibility. Taking action and in case of emergency. There is fire in the building. Be part of the evacuation team. Because you'll be the first person in contact. There is you. Anyone that will come, you will be the first person in contact. So you always have to be alert. That is the smallest sense. A security guard, you always have to be alert. So if you've thought of taking a career in security guard, I think taking into consideration the top five responsibility I give you or uh, discuss right now, then you'll definitely be a very good uh, security guard. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation. Always giving you very interesting things. By the way, don't forget to comment in the comment section. I would like to know what you liked about the video. And I also want to know what you want me to talk about. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.